I'm Robert and welcome to Fiddle Black Friday. That's right, we are taking a little departure from our normal style videos and we are going to come up with a little bit of a gift guide, if you will, for if you happen to be buying a knife for another person this holiday season. So it can be pretty daunting to buy someone else a knife, especially if you are not a knife person yourself. So hopefully this information will help you do just that and help you to make a great decision and really make someone's Christmas super special. Okay, so the first thing to consider is what type of knife are you buying? You don't have to be super specific about it, uh, but we did break it down into basically four categories for you. The four categories are going to be EDC, which stands for Everyday Carry, outdoor knives, kitchen knives, and just knives that make you go, whoa. So the first one we're going to dive into is going to be the kitchen knives because those are the most universal as a gift for just about anyone uh, because everyone needs to eat. So we're gonna jump into that and show you some of these knives up close and show you some of the differences to consider so that you can make a great decision. So. Let's roll out some kitchen knives. All right, so most of the time when you're talking about kitchen knives, most people are talking about chef's knives. Uh, this is an example, both of these as a Western chef. Uh, and most of the time was with Western chef designs. Uh, you're looking at the steel going all the way through the handle. Um, this is just called a full tang knife. Uh, that's typically a characteristic of most Western chef knives as is the spine following all the way out to a pointed tip and also a lot of belly here on the front of the blade meaning that there's a lot of curve here so when you're making cuts you're you're making rocking cuts and slicing cuts um, and it's following the blade like that so it's more of a general purpose knife and it's more of a western style knife uh, but you can also get a general purpose chef knife and more of a Japanese style like these two here from Edge Knife Works. So both of these are Japanese style chef knives. You'll notice a difference in size as well. So the ones I just showed you uh, are eight inch or above, which is typically considered more of a professional chef. And so if somebody really knows their way around the kitchen and you see them doing the whole, you know, bent knuckles, speed chopping kind of thing, uh, a larger chef knife is going to be very, very comfortable for those types of people. One of the differences is with the Japanese style, uh, you'll notice that it doesn't carry uh, the spine of the blade all the way to the tip. They typically drop off at the tip uh, to meet the line. And on the front here for the belly, it has a little bit less belly than a Western chef does uh, because typically the Japanese diet is very vegetable and fruit heavy and also uh, fish, seafood, that kind of thing uh, where you're not making big, large cuts all the time. So Japanese chef, great choice, obviously. These are from Edge Knife Works with custom made steel. And you also have with the Japanese style knives, you also get into a lot of uh, knives that are different shapes and styles like the Nakiri, which is a more of a squared off shape doesn't come to a point uh, this is very not intimidating uh, for someone to use because there's less chance of you actually stabbing your finger or whatnot but you'll notice that they are almost flat on the blade side on the sharpened edge and that's because they are designed for vegetables so uh, this is considered more of a vegetable cutting knife obviously it's going to cut just about whatever you need but you're not going to be uh, deboning a chicken with this thing for sure. So if you're processing a lot of vegetables or you just want something that's lightweight, um, not intimidating, really beautiful, a Nakiri like this would be great, as would a Santuku style. Uh, this one from MW Steelworks is a little bit of a westernized flavor with the full tang. Uh, but you'll notice that the blade shape is very much a Santuku, which is a Japanese design. And you'll also notice that's very flat as well. So aids in doing a lot of vegetable work as well. So those are great choices. If that's more of what you're doing and you need less of a general purpose and something a little more specific to your style of cooking. While we're talking about kitchen knives to talk about specialty kitchen knives as well because it might just be the perfect addition to somebody's kitchen that already feels like they have a good collection. These in particular are going to be great if you have someone in your list of people to get for this holiday season uh, that is into barbecue. So if you got somebody who regularly 
does those nice pork butts, it does the chopped pork for the sandwiches, or they normally do a brisket, prime rib, that kind of thing, and they need a large knife uh, to, to get those nice, perfect, even slices. Uh, these are great choices uh, for those people in your life. All right, so that wraps up the kitchen. If you want to check out the kitchen knives, fiddlebackforge.com slash kitchen is where we will put all of those so that you can narrow down your selection, look at only kitchen knives if you go there. And then next, we're going to get into everyday carry knives, which is not these. All right, so next up, the category I would talk about would be EDC knives. So that it stands for everyday carry, of course. And they can range in sizes, just like anything else. It's all about personal preference. But basically, what I'm using as a guideline uh, for EDC knives is going to be something that you could pull off in a pocket carry with the appropriate pocket sheet. So they can range in sizes from as small as this mini Huntsman from Edge Knife Works and have only, you know, a two and a half inch blade and you can only get three fingers on it. So that makes it great for small pocket carry if you wear shorts a lot, that kind of thing. Or if you prefer a slightly larger knife but still want to pull off pocket carry, even if you choose to do it on your belt sometimes instead, uh, you can go with something more like the Low Country here from Fiddleback Forge and just about anything in between. Now, if you're looking for kind of general purpose EDC that starts to move into being pretty outdoor capable as well, you could go with something like the Warlander Enterprises Bush Baby, for instance, or this Edge Knife Works Ronin, which I really love. Makes a fantastic EDC, but they're also pretty capable of a lot of tasks that you would do outdoors, uh, just not your your firewood type of stuff where you're banging on them trying to split firewood and that kind of thing. They're too small for that, uh, but they make great everyday carry uh, with a lot of your outdoor tasks getting done as well. And you could swing your everyday carry away from uh, heavy users and more into something that uh, really looks super nice and that you could pull off if you're wearing a pair of khakis as well. So uh, you could do a little bit more of a dress style like these from WA Searles. Um, obviously the stag handle on this one brings it a little bit more to the outdoorsy type but it is dressed up enough as you can see uh, that you can definitely pull off uh, some gentlemen's carry with it as well. So really great choices for those on the EDC side as well. And um, as you can see, wide variety really is going to depend on the personality of the person that you're buying for. Uh, but if you see them regularly carry a knife in their pocket, that means that size knife is generally appropriate. Uh, so anything in the EDC category that you can find at fiddlebackforge.com slash EDC uh, would be a great choice for them. All right, next category we'll get into are outdoor knives. So uh, these typically are going to be in your four inch blade or larger uh, with a dedicated design for outdoor use. Now that could be uh, something from hunting to setting up camp to doing some carving, uh, but generally four inch blade and larger and with a full size handle that you can get all your fingers on which is important if you're doing repetitive cuts over and over again uh, especially uh, power cuts imagine you know stripping down uh, a long piece of wood that kind of thing where repetitive use would give you hot spots on your hand you want a full grip on that knife so that's typically uh, what you're looking at when you're looking at an outdoor knife um, warlander knives typically come with sheaths like this one you see here um, outdoor knives typically are going to be belt carry, so they're going to have some kind of loop where they go through on a belt. Uh, like I said, Warlander Enterprises knives come with sheaths. If you see a knife on the website that has a sheath in the photo, it comes with that sheath. If you don't see a sheath in the photo, uh, more than likely that knife does not come with a sheath. Um, I would say that's not a huge concern if you're buying a gift for someone because sheaths and how they carry the knife is probably a larger personal preference than even the knife itself. So it's good to let them kind of pick out how they're going to carry it. So if you do pick up a knife, do need a sheath and it doesn't come with one like this, uh, we can help you out with that, no problem. All right, so one thing I'd like to point out for outdoor knives, if you're not sure which direction to kind of go in with that, I would say the more gradual uh, the shape changes up to the tip, the more general purpose it is. Uh, so it's better for, you know, drilling, carving, that kind of thing, more wood related stuff. Uh, when it has a tip that 
that kind of suddenly curves up into a very, very pointy tip like this one from JB Knife Works right here. Generally, that one's aimed a little bit more at the hunting side uh, because it's better for uh, skinning and breaking down game. So that's just kind of a general rule. So if you know what their uh, main outdoor habits are, you can use that as a guideline for picking which outdoor knife might be better for them. So let's talk about some knives we would put in the woe category. Now these may be knives uh, similar to maybe this Kudu Spear right here from W.A. Searles that just makes you go, whoa, for obvious reasons, right? It's an artistic masterpiece. So if you wanted something that was more of a display item or a collector's item, that kind of thing, you may go for something like this. Or it could be something more in the fantasy realm, kind of like this Orc Killer from Duckhead Forge, which for obvious reasons makes you go, whoa. Or maybe it's for knife nerds who can really appreciate something like this canister Damascus on this lion killer from Edge Knife Works. Or maybe it's just something like this W.A. Searles model right here uh, with a lot of detail work in the guard. You see a lot of copper there. You see the W2 Hamon right here on the steel. Uh, just something that looks very, very interesting. So it could be a variety of reasons that this particular knife uh, stands out and just makes you go, whoa. Uh, so if you really just want to wow somebody with a gift, that would be a great category right there. Uh, so they can be models that are extremely user-friendly, like the last one I showed you, or something more of a collector's piece, like the Kudu Spear. Uh, but either way, when they open it up, it's going to be a wow. So as you can see, there's a lot to consider. Sometimes it's just better to look at all of them. So you can just go fiddlebyforce.com slash all and see what we've got available at the moment and uh, see what stands out to you. And maybe that'll bring up some questions that you may have. We're happy to help you answer those questions so you can hit us up at fiddlebackforce.com slash contact for that. And any questions you may have, you can also comment on this video and make sure you subscribe. Uh, we normally do brand new knives every Friday. Don't wanna miss any of those, so make sure you subscribe to the channel because at the end of the day, life's too short to carry an ugly knife. Let us help you out.